Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the new feature from uh, uh, WordPress 5 uh, that's going to be released very soon. And one of the big uh, change will be the new way to edit and create content using the Gutenberg plugin. Right now the Gutenberg plugin is still almost like in a beta. There are some missing features, so I will show you also those missing features and how to fix them. So let's check uh, first of all how Gutenberg works. When you install uh, WordPress for the first time, or you update, or you have a WordPress uh, and you just update it, you probably gonna see this uh, in the dashboard. So it says there is the new way to modernize and publish. So let's activate Gutenberg. Okay, now we give you this uh, preview how things works. Uh, you can see it's very clean. You can hide, you can make a bigger, vi uh, bigger view and uh, see more. Everything is a block now. So we have a block uh, for paragraph. Each paragraph is a block. And uh, the headers, it's a block. You can change here the header, one, two, three. And uh, you can move up and down, so this can be very easy to arrange a layout. You can add pictures, very easy again. Uh, it doesn't have the drag and drop. Uh, it's, not very, it's not very easy to drag and drop. In fact, now it's almost crash my computer. Cancel. Don't do it. Never try to drag and drop in Gutenberg. So if you use, for example, Visual Composer or WP Bakery, uh, Fusion, uh, it's much, much fluid. You can drag and drop around. This one is still buggy. So now if you want to move this, you have the, the little arrow. You can uh, go up and down. You have the option to create uh, uh, columns. So this is good because before in uh, WordPress uh, without using any plugin like uh, WP Bakery, it's not very easy to make columns. Sometimes get get very confusing with short code. So now it's very easy. Uh, sometimes it's hard to pick up the old box. So you need to go on the left here and select uh, and click the little icon in the middle. Now the box is select. You can uh, arrange a number of columns and you can also put uh, the, the, the full things full with, so that's very, very nice. The, other prob the one problem I see, it's uh, you can make columns, but the columns are all equal. The width is all equal. So in order to, to do that, I will show you a trick to install a different plugin, but, um, but we'll, we'll check in a moment. Now I will, sh uh, I will just show you other feature of the, of the Gutenberg. So let's say you want to add a new block here. You can click add a block or you can click add a block from the top. Also, there is a, a navigation uh, sidebar where you can select the directory. It's not very easy to find the right block looking this because they don't have any names. It's all paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. Parag. So this maybe can be improved. And, uh, but let's say uh, here I want to create another block and you have uh, several options by default. You have an option of gallery, uh, classic, it's like, like a classic box from WordPress, uh, a short code, inline elements. Also, there is a nice feature that I like, it's reusable. So let's say, for example, uh, you want to re reuse, uh, let's say, do, uh, let's convert this paragraph to a quote. Okay, so this is a nice quote wrote by me. And I can do uh, add as a reusable block. And say, nice quote. Save it. So now when you add uh, a new block, you can... Uh, uh, you can add the nice quote. This is another uh, another uh, reusable block that I created before. It's a sidebar form, but you can add this other sidebar. Uh, uh, 
you can add this other reusable element, which is the nice quote. So now we have the nice quote here, says reusable. So this is a very good feature, I like it. And I don't remember I used it before using Visual Composer. This is very cool, uh, I like it. But let's check, um, you, you can experiment yourself and see how all the different parts. But let's see what's missing and the, the main problem. Allora, one main problem is the theme. Your theme needs to be compatible with uh, uh, Gutenberg in order to make it work. For example, if you, if you just install WordPress and uh, WordPress give you uh, this theme here, the 17, that's not compatible, it doesn't work. Then you're gonna see missing part. So uh, if you are going to buy a new theme from Team Forest or other website, make sure they are compatible with Gutenberg. Uh, if you are, want to download just a, a, a theme here, you can search for Google Gutenberg and it will show you some theme that are compatible, like this one I just try, or this one, or you click preview, and it will say Monostack is a group thing already, okay. This probably is to, to make uh, other, uh, uh, your theme, to customize your theme. In fact, I found this, this one, Gutenberg, that's very easy, very basic, but if you are going to create your theme with your design, this is good one. I will put a link in the description so you can download it. So this one, you need to have a team that's compatible. Otherwise, you're not gonna have uh, the special icon. Maybe you can easily add, and I'll show you how. But you, you're not gonna have, let's say we have another block, uh, paragraph. Then we'll click the block. You're not gonna have uh, an extra uh, thing to make the sidebar. You're not gonna have another thing to make the old block uh, uh, wide. So, uh, and that is just a, a simple thing that you can add in your team to make it work. And it's this, is the uh, align, align wide you need to add in the function. Also another thing, and I'll also link this page because I have some cool important part, like at the bottom here, um, this area here, make your editing area bigger because by default you have, uh, you have this narrow area. I don't like, it. I want everything bigger and, uh, and larger. And also let me open, uh, uh, because did I delete this one? And uh, like I, I, I told you before, the problem with columns, uh, it's uh, uh, you can make columns very easily, but they are the same width. So I like usually have a, a bigger column on the left and a small column on the right, so I can put a, a sidebar in the right. But in this case, uh, you can't. There is no, there is, there isn't the option. So, to, in order to fix the column and uh, remove this hallway space, uh, I suggest you to download this plugin. So you go in the plugin, it's called Cadence Block. So if you search uh, plugin, you just put Gutenberg. And this one here, Cadence Block. Very nice. If you want more, if you want, if you want to have more block uh, like an accordion, a map, uh, uh, very cool stuff. I recommend you also Advanced Gutenberg, but I'm not going to discuss now. I will just activate this one because uh, I think this one is a must for doing the columns. And also there is a cool feature that it will expand your editing area. And I like full width for both post and pages. And uh, so we save that. So now when we go back to our post or page, all right, now the area is big. So in case I want to create uh, here a, a, a layout with a sidebar, I will click, uh, I will click add block. Now we have raw uh, layout. 
Now we can select uh, uh, which kind of layout we want. We want like that. Perfect now. Now here we'll say add a block, uh, paragraph. No, we we'll don't say that. Now we'll, uh, we'll go inside here, we'll just start typing. Okay, here instead we're gonna have a sidebar, uh, contact us, contact us. This one will convert to a headers, heading, mm, let's say H2, that's fine. Then next we'll put, uh, since usually form I created by external plugin using shortcode, we can uh, simply add a shortcode using this. I don't have uh, the plugin installed, but let's just pretend. Okay, done. So now we can have a nice uh, layout with a bigger column and a smaller column, left and right. And also if we go over this block and we select the block, uh, be because we have the plugin installed, we have also this other option. We can switch it, we can make uh, three columns, we can put back, we can adjust the padding. Uh, Padding left, padding right, uh, we can change the uh, the color. So that's it. So basically, I think with both plugin, it will make uh, Gutenberg usable. And I already start working on uh, my new design using Gutenberg because uh, sooner or later, that's going to be uh, the main thing of WordPress. So it's better to learn how to uh, work with Gutenberg right now. But uh, in the end, uh, I like it. There are many, many options like uh, expand the image all wide just uh, with a click. You don't have any more to create a sidebar and putting maybe advanced uh, custom field, uh, different, uh, uh, too many, too many field, too many short code. I like this one. It seems very, very nice. So that's all for this tutorial. Check in the description for the link and the tutorials. Um, and see you next time for another great review, subscribe. Bye bye.